So, there is my foot. It's all swollen. Uh, as are all my toes. All of these toes are all swollen. Um, my knee's not so bad. Um, you can just see a little bit of puffiness. It's not bruised, thankfully. Ow. Whew. So, good lord, it's bright out here. I'm watching for Pretty Lady. I just put some food out for her and one of the cats got out and scared her. Um, so she's hiding for the moment under the car. Uh, but yeah, that, that was a fun fall. <laughs> and then falling again. <laughs> it was uh, just basically a whole bunch of stuff started falling in the kitchen and one of the things hit the toe. And it was like, ah, when I went boom, back onto the floor, hit my hip. So I got, I'm not going to show you that one. I got a nice bruise right in my hip, right near where the SI joint is, which is screwed up on me. So I was like, Crying. good lord. Um, it's 107 out right now, and I'm sitting in the sun. I closed. I'm like, can I move? There you go. Now I'm, no, I'm still, there you go. Come forward just a little bit. Um... Uh, but beyond that, we just got good news. Rob just got hired uh, at a pest control place. So he's gone from locksmithing. Um, and he did put in applications um, for locksmithing companies, but nobody got back in touch with him. Um, the pest place, legit, he put the application in over the weekend, and they called him first thing in the morning. And he went and did the job interview, and boom, they hired him. So... This is gonna be oh ground is hot. Ow. Uh so we're good in that situation. We're still we're still short on rent um and electricity because Arizona, you know, and then trying to find a place to live. It's like you gotta be kidding me. We're paying eighteen hundred for this. We have the roommate Kyle and it's just like this isn't worth eighteen hundred dollars. It isn't. It's not even a thousand square feet. Like for real? I mean, come on, no one need, if we were working basic minimum wage, um, federal minimum wage, you would only be earning $1,175 a month. And all over the country, there are states that that is still the minimum wage and the rents are too high. Like, it, it, economy based, right? And, and capitalism, yeah, I mean, hello, Bert. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have an issue with capitalism. The problem was, is during the 80s, we had a president who did, who thought trickle-down economics would work when he didn't realize, no, corporations are greedy. They want to keep all the money for themselves. They don't want to trickle it down to us. And this is my entire life. My entire life, I've had to deal with this moronic concept of yeah, the people higher up are going to be paying you more money. No, the, the wages stagnated in like 1999, 2000. It just stopped. And that was during a Republican presidency during Bush. And then we ended up with um, Obama, I think. Yeah, it was Obama. Wasn't Obama after Bush? 2008 yeah and then we ended up with Trump and then we have Biden and it's like hey I I'm an independent I I vote for <laughs> whoever I think will be best for the country and for us um be it a Republican or a Democrat or an independent I would have voted Bernie you know but fucking Hillary you know I'm not going to go down that hole. Politics is just not something I go into. So I'm an independent. I vote for who I think it's going to work out best. But I am a proponent um, for term limits for everything. Senate, Congress, everything. is. No one should stay in office for more than 10 years because then your ideals, everything that you're thinking of is so backwards that they shouldn't stay in office. Um, I did a paper back when I was at university in the 90s when they started betting on futures and I was just like, what the hell's going on? And I, I just looking at what happened to Rome and comparing it to what was going on here in America, I was like, we're following the same route. 
we're going to collapse because the the rich are just going to get richer and the poor are just going to get poorer and then at some point the poor are just going to turn and be like we don't want to deal with this anymore pay us our due and that's what the unions have been destroyed everything's being destroyed it, it's it, it's stupid it, it, and it shouldn't be like this we shouldn't be fighting this hard i, I shouldn't have to, to get my social security i shouldn't have had to have lo lost my house you know, and, and go back to Renton. Uh, my kids should be able to afford My son's 35. He should be in his own freaking house and able to pay a mortgage. And it's like, no, because all these corporations are buying all the homes and then renting them. There's a guy on um, YouTube shorts that's been buying homes here, you know, cheap. He buys them for whatever cheap price he can, renovates them, and then sells them for half a million. And it's like, why don't you leave that for the people that want to at least get a home? Why? Why? America it, but then it's also all over the world so but yeah my, 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 toe, my toe fat oh and then we got drama going on with Kim I'll do that later Ford I'm not even gonna go into that right now no but yeah no everything's going good like I said I'm just like I said I'm not happy with what's going on in the country, but I haven't been for near on 20 years. Oh well. But as always, do what makes you happy in life, just don't do any harm. And that goes for those people that are doing this, the, the greedy mofos. See, you're doing harm to the country. All of them. Our, our politicians, government, everybody. F them, man. See you guys next time.